Hello everyone, we're talking Indigenous Football Week 2018 here and with me is the great John Moriarty of course. Uh, so it's a, a week where everyone can join in the discussion, where we can talk about all aspects of Indigenous football, whether it's the history, whether it's the present, get everyone connected and involved and we can find out where all the, the, the strong pockets of Indigenous football are around the country as well this week. And also we can start to talk about a shared vision for Indigenous football with Australia uh, to create something very special. I think uh, you've uh, hit it spot on there, Craig. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to come through from the grassroots, right through to that level, but to develop from there. And we know that uh, football in the past have not developed us to that stage. And I hope that uh, we can use it, this particular opportunity to further our kids in their sporting venture with this game and also elevate themselves and their families to make sure that uh, they can reach those levels that football can provide for them. So John, tell us about how or whether Indigenous football has actually changed since your playing days. I feel as if uh, we haven't done a great deal on a national basis and uh, even on a very local basis I feel we haven't done enough as well. And that's really why we got involved with our program. And um, I think it needs to um, be stepped up in all directions and, and um, our program is hopefully move along that line. And how can football um, play a role in the concept of football dreaming? Uh, it, it can play a fantastic role. Um, with, with the kids, it'll open up so many boundaries and uh, the game doesn't have any uh, barriers in my view as far as individuals are concerned. It only just comes through on their, you know, the ability to play. And as the Indigenous game grows and, you know, we're, we're hoping, uh, well, we're confident that the discussion around Indigenous football in Australia will really spark to life this week, Indigenous Football Week. Um, what is the, what does a shared um, future look like um, between all football participants? Uh, I think it'll um, just do wonders for our Aboriginal kids. Uh, it's a great level that the game is and um, uh, our kids are tailor-made for the game in my view and I think that uh, uh, this will be an, an easy step for them to take providing they've got the other aspects that they can come through, with good programs that are planned, the teams are planned, the games are planned and the structures there that will uh, take them on board. And I think this will be a great way for our kids to uh, not only just de develop their football, but also bring them to the forefront of uh, uh, developing their well-being, as well as uh, showing that they can be part of the Australian community with skills that are uh, just admired and accepted by all that's um, not only playing the game, but uh, those that watch. Indeed. Well, it's great to catch up with you. Uh, Indigenous Football Week, of course, begins on 3rd of November 2018 and is a digital campaign around the theme of football dreaming, Indigenous participation and a shared Australia through football. What a beautiful message that is. A great vision and it's one that we're going to discuss right throughout the week. So please do get involved. Uh, jump on jmf.org.au and look out for the hashtags, of course, as well. Get involved. Let's have a discussion and let's have a think about what the future looks like.